Another one. Another one. Another one. Hey, man. Unexpected Double Touch show on Wednesday. The Short Thought segment. We didn't do it on Monday. Was a great show on Monday with a plumber who got his balloon popped. No, did he? <laughs> no, did he? And we talked about Diddy as well. We did. We did. Hey, man. And today we're going to do, as we always do at a Short Thought segment, we talk about trending topics. Yes, yes. And commonplace situations. We get short responses. So let's jump right into it. Yes, guys, <laughs> before we proceed, remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Follow us on our other socials and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah, we're going to jump right into it. Guess who we're going to talk about? Who would that be? Who would that be? Well, that's going to be Mia Mercy. Who, who that is? I didn't know who that was until until Terrell Lewis ran up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saw that clip. <laughs> NFL player Terrell Lewis run off on the bill on OF model. Let's take a look at what happened because this is crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, what actually happened? So, according to the the story goes, they had a encounter in a hotel room, a paid encounter, and uh, well, it it was supposed to be a paid encounter, but when the bill was served. Terrell did what NFL players do. Why are you running? Run the play. <laughs> Run the play. <laughs> and, and she thought, Why are you running? Why are you running? She run, ran out there bucket neck. You can see it because it's, uh, it's censored. Oh my God. It's censored. But I've seen the original. How do you see this? I don't, don't tell me. But, but but I have a question. Who was the third person that's recording? I have no idea. That was maybe the third person. Maybe it's a skit. Who knows? Maybe it's a skit. Or maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, no professional professional in any sport who would partake into a skit where they are running. But maybe <laughs> the escort. Is there a small <laughs> chart? These storming was there, letting them run routes. This storm, storm can barely move his neck these days. Oh, yeah. Shout out to D. Shout out to D. But that, that, he, he tried. He tried to. Yeah, D storm. Let me say his full name because people might say no. Did he after that? <laughs> Shout out to D storm. He did. He tried to hit someone. That ended pretty bad for him. Yeah. Hope he well, wish him all the the luck and and uh, full recovery. But yeah, just to just to give a, a face to to all the people partaking in this craziness. It's actually destroying, by the way. It's like destroying. Oh, destroying, destorming. I know he wasn't. He we was getting ran on. This is the the girl, Mia Mercy, the lady, the nice lady. Yes, the nice lady who. Uh, who, who didn't get her bills paid uh, that day. And this is Terrell. Terrell is now playing for uh, Philadelphia Eagles. So he flew away. He's, he's active. He's still active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not, it's not like he didn't have... I don't think it's not... It's like he didn't have the money. Maybe he wanted the rush. Maybe he was trying to prepare for the preseason, you know, getting the blood flowing. Run off a, off a bill. Off hey, season. Right off season. <laughs> he's, he's getting ready, man. <laughs> ready, go. Yo, you know how crazy that is. If you run off a chick, what do you think, RJ? You know what? I think if they if they if they do the combines like this, people will 
will will run better times, I think. If they just let the baby mamas or the toxic girlfriends or whatever run behind them during the 40-yard dash, I think the scores, the, the, the results would be a bit, just like a bit better. You know what I'm saying? I think you have a point. I think you have a point. Not not entirely what I was I'm gonna aim for, but the you said the combine. Yeah. Maybe this is this is the video they should show the high school the college players when they get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 you shouldn't should ski up Euler and then stay. You should yeah. ski, ski in the condom and then run up with the condom. <laughs> you better run. You better, you better run than now. It's, it's very, very weird. And we keep seeing this over and over again, right? KRS, we keep seeing this, seeing this over and over again. How these people just, they just, seemingly need to have a they they can't leave the these women alone yeah. young players successful players looking for of models and 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 these type of women in, in essence so usually or it is usually in the past it they was pay them. yeah they would pay them. <laughs> that's the first thing they would <laughs> <laughs> they would pay them but, or, or like, everything, but everything used to be everything used to be on a download mm -hmm. so but now with social media there are two things right one anyone can expose you but two you these women oftentimes have their own platforms so it's not like someone can it's, it's like they have their own platforms they, they don't need to go to tmz or another platform to to sell the story, they yeah. can just post it on their own uh, on their own platform. Not not only that, they, they have their own platform, and, they'll, and they'll, they they might use your name to promote their 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 uh, services. Because guess what, the millionaire out there hit it. Guess what, you might be you might be eligible too because I have a great. Gucci. Yeah. That's why I was trying to find another word. Another word. I, I, I saw it. Want to use, I didn't want to use monkey, but <laughs> not in this context. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's see what she had to say after the, the guy ran off on, on the plug. Yeah. I had his hairy tooted in the air, but my finger inside of his Beep, 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 oh, and I and it felt loose. How dare you try to run off on me? You told me you loved, you loved, I, I put fingers up your hairy hole. This is a, this is a way she get tries to, tries to get back, I guess, yeah. alleging that he is a. He's a duke shooter. Guess what? He's a duke shooter that got away with your money. <laughs> 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 oh, man. And she continues. Tara has been tricking off for some years now. Client provider history. This is the first and last time he's done something like this. I've never seen him act like this. He cho choked me and all just to get out of the room. I didn't see no choking, but okay. I didn't either. And I think if it was one, uh, either she's very fast that she recovered and ran the way she ran, or she's exaggerating, exaggerating a bit. Hey, but you you sleep with dogs, you wake up with fleas, is what they say, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. hey it is what it is. Um, he he, he might have been uh, working off a a uh, discount card. After fifty times using the service, I might get a discount. 
This one is free on me. <laughs> Without <laughs> announcing. Hey, man, these people are crazy out here. Hey, good luck to both of these people. Uh, make sure next time, next time you lock the door of the hotel room. On the on the free on the free turn, she'll say today your ankles stay on the ground. <laughs> hey man, let's go to the next topic. The next talk of, of today. Uh, that is Birdman. Birdman is trending for all the wrong reasons. Are they putting respect on his name? Well, they, they might be putting too much respect on his name. He uh, he went to a prison and Arjun, you 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 have you have as a lawyer you've been uh, you've done criminal justice. Oh, yeah, law in, the past. In, the past. in the past. Let's say if you're a warden of a um, of a penitentiary, mm -hmm. when you when you invite someone, right? What do you want them to, to say to your inmates? Should they motivate them? Give them reasons to live? So I don't know. The, get yes, out? So I don't know the full context right here, but I guess from your question, you're saying that he was invited to give a speech. Yeah, yeah. Like a, a lot of well known people go to the penitentiary and, and give people hope. Gotcha. Uh, even though they have life in prison, you know, you got to give them hope sometimes. Gotcha. So, uh, well, this has nothing to actually to do with lawyers. It's actually when you're in the pri in prison, usually you send someone to say some inspirational words uh, to basically tell them that a couple of things that hey, this is this doesn't need to be the end of your story, right? So mm. um, you can still rewrite it, uh, give examples of people who came out and so came out of the of the pen and still, you know, thrived established businesses so you you want people that can use examples of how people got out and uh, yeah made a better life for themselves so i'm guessing uh, it didn't go like that <coughs> let's let's take a look at what uh what birdman what happened to that boy had to say to these inmates because he's there to motivate them inspire fair use inspire fair use By the way, he's, he asked them, how can you help us? We have no access to We have no access to I have enough power to make that happen. Okay, well, we need we need inside help for a leadership. For these guys having books to read upon the criminal of the law. You, you think read books from I know there's a read books. Well. I helped out. Did you hear what he say? Said? I heard the part. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say it word by word. Uh, can I help y'all? How can I help y'all? We have no access to... We have no access to... I have no, we don't have no access to... We don't have no access to... And then he says, I have the power to help y'all. He's a power player. The power to make that happen. Okay. I have the power to make it happen, so to help y'all. Okay, well, we, need, we need inside help for a leadership. We need inside help as means for literature, books. No, no, no. no. I heard that right. You do said literature. Come on, man. He's trying uh, to get books. Yeah, yeah. Books. Which is, which is a positive thing because, yeah. Books are always good. Books. Yeah. Not always, but, but uh, yeah. they can inspire definitely and trigger different ways of thinking. So, yeah. yeah. Then he continues. For these guys having books to read upon the criminal of the law. He's trying to get people to read books about law so they understand the cases they're dealing with, whether they can fight it, and talk to the lawyer in the right way. To have the okay. lawyer do their bidding in okay, the right so there way. Is a, there is a legal... Okay, yeah, there is a legal... Okay. Why do you think I'm... A... I don't know. I don't know. The law. You think, you think so you think reading... Books from, I know you think reading books from no disrespect to reading books, reading books. <laughs> I help you. it's tough okay. right there. So maybe this is a setup, but I think where he was going to is that reading books might not help you. You need a miracle. <laughs> I don't know what is guy. 
Hey, but I, I have a video. I was, I was, well, we talked about him on Monday, the plumber. Um, and he did an interview with, uh, with MTR, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. And in that interview, he talked about, because he was, I think I said it in, in the Monday show as well, that he's locked, he was locked up or he, he, he gives that vibe of being, have been locked up and he bettered his life. And he explained what, what made them change. And let's hear it from a former inmate himself, what books can do for you. Fair use, shout out to MTR. Um, I didn't have any contact with the outside world. So all I wanted to do was work out and, you know, engage in a good old fisticuff. But it wasn't until I had read a book and they were talking about. Um, I see you smiling. You want to say something? You're on mute. I said a fisticuffs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's spin that back. Good old fisticuffs. And, you know, engage in a good old fisticuff. But it wasn't until I had read a book Fair use. and they were talking about um, Geronimo Pratt and I had read about COINTELPRO, you know, the, the counterintelligence program J. Edgar Hoover started um, used to suppress black organizations. Now, once I read about that and I'm reading about tribalism and about how the government infiltrated these organizations, you know, these gangs didn't originally start off as gangs. They were just trying to protect their communities. So the government infiltrated, you know, these organizations and turned them against each other. You know, the Bloods and Crips were, re they were united at one point in time. So I began to ponder at night, like, man, you know, I'm over here attacking these men and the oppressors are the ones that infiltrated, uh, a, a, a establishment that was promoting a just cause and turned it into some evil. I was like, man, how, how could I contribute to this moving forward, you know, knowing this? And, yeah. and um, yeah, so basically by him reading the books, he, uh, he had a realization how he had to change, can change his, uh, yeah. Hey man, it's like, like I said, books, I understand, yes, so you shouldn't only be book smart, but books do have value. They contain ideas usually, right? And from those ideas, you can get in contact with ways of thinking you never got in contact with before. And that can change you. So I really think, so we talked about this guy in the last show, in the Monday show. Guys, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, we talked, of course, about the funny part, <laughs> the funny part. But a person's life is like a trajectory. So just because someone is here now doesn't mean that that person will stay here forever. Yep. He's, he came from a place, he's here now, and he's continuing with his life. So, hey, um, the Birdman clip was cut short. We don't know how, what he said, how he finished it. But um, I don't think I that's how I think he... he... I don't think there is no finish to that. No, this when you say no disrespect to books, I already know where you're going. I don't need to hear anything else. No, no disrespect to books, but can you read? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, for someone like Burman, it's better you can't read the contract. So you yeah. better dance and sing, and I get all the proceeds. And then you you end up with no money. That's true. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Sometimes, sometimes people try to help you from the angle it benefits them. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about this topic? No, nah, man. Uh, read a book. Read, read a, a book. Birdman Audi promoting no books. No, I can't help you. What, what do you expect? It? Give, give us some shanks. <laughs> Provide me with guns, drugs, drugs, bitches. <laughs> no, no disrespect, but I, I had to use the rap term. I, I could have said beautiful women, but 
the way Birdman communicates, you gotta communicate back. He would use that word. So anyway, let's go to the next topic, man. What happened to that boy? Woman wheels almost deceased man to an ATM, Brazil ATM. We oh, talked we, we, we yeah. covered a similar story <laughs> like a couple of months ago. Oh, this yeah. is the only happened in Brazil. I don't know why. I don't know why, but uh, last time it was a woman that, that wheeled in a man into a bank. She claimed it was his, uh, she, uh, he was his, uh, her uncle, and she got arrested for it. And now we have this story right here. Let me share my screen. Fair use. There's no sound, right? There is no sound. No, I put it out. So you can see her trying to access the ATM. Got the <laughs> now. We know who who puts the. We always we all know who puts the the money up here. Yeah, it's never people that are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I want to say it, but RJ. What do you think about this situation? People that don't walk around with wallets for whatever reason. <laughs> um, they always sad, have their tool with them. It's a, it's a sad situation. It's a very sad situation. This isn't the first time. I think you're saying this person it wasn't completely gone, or was he? Well, it seems to be I mean, when he when he scanned his um, fingerprint fingerprints, you can see his head go back. So. Last time around, I don't know if you recall, it had almost happened the same way. That person was also going backwards. And Thank she was you. pushing him, trying to hold his hand. You got to sign it, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. You got to sign the check. Grandpa was like, we cannot burn his man. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. Yeah. Hey, man. This is, this is, we this is crazy. Yeah, that, that's why. He, uh, what, what did you say? Oh, it was at the bank, right? No, no, I thought, no, no, you said we got a Bernie's, but I want to, I, I said, oh, do you mean we got a Biden's? <laughs> That's a good, that, that would be a sequel for sure, man. We cannot buy, we cannot buy this would, would be a great sequel. But I don't know if I would use no, that. Last time it was at the bank, this one is at the ATM, so. Always getting the money, man. Always getting the money. See, if you see an elderly man in a wheelchair being pushed, by a young woman that's doing everything for him. Do, check his pulse because he's probably gone. Yeah, it uh, the the previous one helped ha uh, happened in uh, in April, and she wanted to 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 get a loan, a three thousand dollar loan. Of a of a of a, of a corpse, basically, she got arrested for it. Of course, which one? This the first one of this one. No, no, no. The the other one, the other one. This one seems it, it seems like it's uh, uh, what I've read is that uh, investigators have found. Uh, well, no, no, no. They they are still investigating. No, there is no, uh, no yet no feedback from from the authorities. But yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it, it's a sad thing, man. It's a sad thing that. Uh, that people take advantage of uh, of a of a person in that situation. Yeah, really is. And it's a sad. I mean, I mean, just goes to show you, everyone just get your own money, man. Just get your own money. Make sure you have. Uh, make sure you're you're taken care of. By take care of yourself, be self sufficient because you don't want to be. You don't want to have to do this in order to. <laughs> Then you get arrested for this stuff, and then you sit for two years, just for for for, for five hundred dollars. Yeah, people are sad. Hey, the last topic of the day: Shaq reveals how Ice Cube stopped him from releasing a particular track. Let's take a look real quick. Why can I show it? 
some way I removed this, but it's gonna be okay. Yeah, we're yeah, good. Good. should be seeing it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <clears throat> the big podcast, uh, he had Ice Cube on the show, and uh, he had the following to say shout out to Shaq, fair use. Cube, you mind if I give one confession time? Go for it. So Q was executive producing one of my records. And he put me in the studio with Dr. Dre. Oh, my gosh. I did a song called That's Gangster." Q heard it. I was like, nope, we're not releasing this. <laughs> Dre did the beat. Dre had me there. I thought it was nice. Uh, one of Q's partners, a uh, dude named Short Chop. <laughs> Shout out to Short Chop. He helped me write it. And I thought it was hard. And then I played it for Cube. Cube was like, no. He didn't even bob to it at all. No, he was like, nope, we're not there. Because, I mean, because the hook was, that's gangster. He was like, Shaq, you're a maker, bro. I don't, I, don't, I don't want you talking about nothing gangster. We're not doing nothing. Like that. And it never came out. Cube, it wasn't that? good? It wasn't good? No, it was good. Shaq is a dope MC. And, but I, I just felt the record was off brand for him because, you know, to me, he, He's more than just gangster, you know. It's he he's loved by millions, loved by kids. He already established that. And why why go why go backwards when you're when you're already forward, so to speak. You know, you're already a household name, beloved by, you know, little kids, big kids, around the world. Grandmas. And that taught me you that taught me stay true to who you are. This is what friends do. Yeah. They, they, they help you move forward. Yeah. Because as um, especially then, right? This was probably in the 90s. I'm guessing. And in the 90s, in the 90s, gangster, 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 gangster was cool. Gangster, gangster was cool. But do you really want to, you know, as I get older, Gangster, what's gangster? Are you gangster? I was I, I was listening to gangster rap, and I just listened to it because of the beat. But when you when I read the word, I was like, oh, this this doesn't fit me. So why do we feel like we need to rap about the gangster life? Back then, now we think like that, but back then I believe, or I think the newer generation also has the same problem with their drill drill rap, rapping, but Cube was like, Shaq, you're a Laker. You have brands. You have sponsorships all over the place. Why would you go? Why? What, what did Snoop did? Why did they have to go and use the G word? When the Island Boys said gang, 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 Snoop was like, why did, you, did they have to go and use the G word? No, it's okay. You're dope. You're a force to be reckoned with. Monster on the field. Uh, unstoppable. The most dominant player to ever play the game, off the court, a lovable guy, uh, very um, charismatic, always ready to give. There's no need to. And it's great of Cube. And I have to say, the more and more I listen, other people, how other people talk about Cube, the more appreciation I have for him. Because as I was growing up, I knew Friday. So I watched this Ratchet movie. It was amazing. I really liked it. But it was, <laughs> I mean, I watched it over and over. But that's not the point. The like point some is, people watch Scarface. Yeah. So I, was, I, I, I watched it a bunch of times. But, of course, you associate Cube with that type of person. And then, of course, he transitioned acting in other movies as well. But... Cube was right just a bit before my time. So I didn't grow up with the Cube, NWA, um, uh, th that version, the earlier version of Snoop Dogg, Tupac. It was right before my time. So I knew of them. I knew when, when uh, Tupac got got, but I wasn't, it was like, I, I, I didn't grow up listening to them. Yeah. But when I hear what he's doing right now, he has the 
Big Three. Big Three. Big Three League. He's doing this type of thing. He's a very smart man. He's a very chill guy, but he's a very smart man. And I, uh, yeah, I'm getting more and more appreciation uh, for him as as time uh, goes by. And um, I should actually do like a deep dive. Not into his musical career necessarily, because they're also saying that he was a dope MC. Uh, I know so, I know the most popular songs, but to tell you that I've listened to like Cube albums or mixtapes, I don't know what he has, but no, that that would be a lie. But may I am interested into hearing his story and, and yeah, because he's a very interesting guy. Yes, he is. I, I do think I do think, and I, I do agree with you on this. The 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 you have to help your friends. If you're seeing, you shouldn't be just because someone is your friend, you shouldn't be a yes man. He considered Shaq a friend. He was his producer as well. So you have to quality control in that situation, not only as a friend, but also as a producer. You're not a gangster. Why do, are you acting like one? Some You got to ask yourself, do, does um, the, the, the number one shooter in the NBA these days, does he have a producer, a friend that can tell him, don't, 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 <laughs> don't, don't pick up. Don't pick up the blicky. Oh, that kind of shooter. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, there's only one number one shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, for those who don't know, I'm talking about Ja Morant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ja is out here recording videos. With a blicky in his hand. Was, was, was. He changed now. He changed. That's what he said. Okay. Well, I have to believe him yeah. until <laughs> he proves me wrong <laughs> again. But, but this is this tells you what kind of friends he has. Because none of his friends sit there and say, hey, dude, you're in a good position to help everyone in your family. Why are you doing this? Why are you recording yourself with a blicky in your hand? You know that that hurts your own brand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, 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 when you hang with people with low vibrations, they'll pull you down. People yeah, with high right. vibrations will pull you up. But mind you, mind you, KR. Q, rap gangster. And he was saying, don't do it. Just like Stephen A was telling about his story when he was younger. That the 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 guys in well, there were still boys in their neighborhood, in his neighborhood, a bit older boys. Uh, when he wanted to hang out with them, they were like, "No, you're good in school. Just go do your thing. Don't you shouldn't be here." Like, that's what you're supposed to do. So, yeah. even you know, for for people, I know people who, for example, their parents smoke. But they tell them, don't smoke, don't smoke, don't do this. It's an addiction. And the kids, and every time they try to kick to, to stop using it, but they can't. And and they talk to that, they, they communicate that with their child. And so, yeah, I think it's uh, it's good to have those people around instead of yes, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't surround yourself with yes, man, because they'll take you down. Yeah. Just trying to please you. As the money cow. Anyway, that's it for today, man. Yeah, that's, that's it, it for today. Yeah, we have like an independent, independent, uh, short thought show. Actually, guys, let us know what you think. If you're still here, thank you for tuning in. Whatever your thoughts are, uh, don't forget to let us know in the comment section below. Rate the show by pressing the like button. Follow us on our other socials and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you stay up to date when we drop new content. It's been a pleasure, and until next time, remember to check out our show of tomorrow, Thursday. Peace. Peace. It's gangster. It's gangster. It's, it's gangster. Party for the gangster party. I'm not gangster. I don't wave a flag. By the way, if you guys, if you guys watched it. You could see me in 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 uh, not like us video in LA. Rapping my gang. Yeah. So you had so you had the rappers were saying, what, 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 dot them up. And what yeah, the and then I running away because uh, too and many what, gangsters. And how do the comedians fight, KR? 
Ha 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 ha. Ja, aber er hat 